Mitt Romney was very, very <laughs> confident that the Supreme Court would deem the mandate uh, unconstitutional. So uh, he gave an interview, and uh, during that interview, he talked about how the Democrats must be feeling at that very moment. <laughs> Let's watch uh, video number five. Very clear that a big decision is coming tomorrow for the Supreme Court. My guess is they're not sleeping real well at the White House tonight. That's the way it ought to be, all right? Uh, yeah. Okay, my apologies, he was actually giving a speech. But, I mean, it just, it gives you an idea of how, it, it was a surprising ruling. Look, I have to be completely honest. We all came into work today, and I remember Jackie is like <laughs> sitting at the edge of her seat. She doesn't know what's about to happen, and we're all thinking they're going to say it's unconstitutional. And if they do, what are the implications? And of course, we think that way because we have a conservative Supreme Court. But then all of a sudden, Justice Roberts comes through for the progressives, for the liberals. We didn't expect that at all. So really quickly, you know, ladies, what are your thoughts on that? Because a lot of people are almost conspiratorial about the way uh, Justice Roberts ruled in this decision. Do you have well, any thoughts? I would think uh, the, the, the sense that I get of it, and I also have to point out really quick, uh, major props to uh, Brian Butler of TPM, because he was the one that called it back in March. He was listening to the oral arguments, and he was the one that, that noted that little tiny exchange that uh, Chief Justice Roberts gave uh, d discussing the idea mm -hmm. of it being more of a tax and allowable as a tax, and he called it back then. And, and to me, I think that the, uh, well, I'm trying, uh, Sort of. Sorry, I'm, I'm losing where I was. What were we talking? Uh, we yeah. were talking about Justice Roberts and how oh, yeah. surprising his I think his he's concerned was. about his legacy. That's oh. the part that I wanted to make sure. I think he's really concerned about his legacy and what this looks like over time because obviously Scalia has gone way out to the right. I mean, he even had that book that he released recently that uh, talked about how he's changed his mind. He's gone very political. So now, maybe Justice Roberts is concerned about that. Now remember, that. Justice Roberts was appointed by uh, President Bush, right? And there was this entire question of whether or not he was going to be an activist judge. And I remember him saying that he, his whole point was to be unbiased, to be moderate. And, you know, even though he leaned conservative, he was making the argument that, no, I'm not going to like, let my own ideologies take over. But thus far, he did let his own ideologies take over. But yeah. then all of a sudden, he comes out with a surprise ruling. Jackie, do you think that this is his attempt to uh, look moderate when in reality, after this, he's probably just going to vote conservative? Conservatively on every other issue. Well, this is a big one, right? I mean, it's tough to tell, obviously, what's going through his mind at this time. Um, but this is a biggie. And I think that when you look at this, I mean, we always talk about the policy, the policy, the policy, and the politics, but these are actual people's lives. And if he's the guy that turned down affordable, accessible health care for millions and millions of Americans, what kind of legacy does that leave for him as a human, let alone as the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court? So I think there is his legacy as being too conservative and not wanting to be uh, the head of an activist court. And I think on the other side, it's his legacy, I think, as a human and just not wanting to be the guy that took affordable health care away from all of these people who need it. If you hear these stories day in and day out, I mean, these are, these are real human lives. This is not just political games on Capitol Hill. I think we're used to losing. We've gotten oh. really, really comfortable with the idea that we're not going to win. So I think a lot of that played into today, too. It said, you know, maybe there was a chance that we could get this upheld, but what, it was a long shot. I mean, I just thought there's no possible way we're going to get the best possible outcome. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, Lucas, did you want to make a comment? <laughs> Lucas and I Feel were free actually to take your time. Lucas and <laughs> I were actually discussing this earlier, and he actually made a great point about uh, uh, John Roberts' uh, ruling in this case. Uh, tell me what uh, Justice Kennedy had said. Okay. Well, yeah. So that's that's basically, I think, the the biggest uh, kind of indicator is that you know it it is in the interest if you're uh, if you're a conservative and you want the Supreme Court to rule conservatively in you know the coming years. It's in their interest for the Supreme Court to be viewed as legitimate. Mm -hmm. And I think that uh, because of how extreme the dissent was in this case, where, all, where basically Justice Kennedy's dissent said, look, we think the whole thing is invalid. Mm -hmm. So if Roberts had sided with that, I think that the reaction from the country, and especially from you know, basically the half of the country that, that would, is supportive of this law and all, would... Be, it would be very damaging to the image of the Supreme Court. And we already have a very strong sense that the Supreme Court is partisan and is biased, but this would be basically kind of the nail in the coffin. And I think that Roberts made a very shrewd 
sort of political calculation in that he made himself look, as Anna said, you know, more moderate, and, and DC loves that, so they're going to totally fawn over this. But I think also it sets him up in the future to be able to make the conservative rulings he wants to without having had this be such a divisive ruling that no one's going to, that people are always going to say, well, the Supreme Court is just totally biased now.